Hello everyone, it's Robin Dudley Howes, the Artsy Bohemian, and I am going to be showing you a new class that I'll be teaching at Frank Garcia's studio. I'm very excited again to be there. I love teaching there. We're going to be doing a spooky cute ephemera journal, and we're going to be using uh, some of uh, his collection from last year for his Halloween collection. It's called Luna. We're also going to be transforming and altering this newer Graphic 45 um, album in a box. And it looks like this, but it's not going to look like this when we're done. We're going to actually be making a separate box and a separate journal. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll start with the box to start with. So originally, the idea behind this is that this fits into this box and when you open it you can the, it, you glue this into the box. I didn't really want to do that so um, I made it into a box and this is what oops I don't want to do that actually I want to show you what's inside first because I have it kind of set a certain way <laughs> but um, we're also going to be using some of my uh, digitals that I made for the class you're going to be getting lots of things in the kit as usual, a lot of pre-made um, things. And one of them is this cute little uh, paper doll that I've watercolored. I'll do a demo on, on how I watercolor in the class. And all the little sequins and everything, you're just going to have to cut it out and put her, um, cut her dress out. All these beautiful flowers on here. And I got this idea, it's a journal topper from um, My Porch Prints. So I made my own tags, journaling cards. And it's such a fun um, idea that she, she came up with. I think she came up with it. So what it is, is you have this and then you open it. And you have another pocket here. And these are the cute images from Frank's line. And then there's another little pocket here. So this opens up and I wanted to make it look kind of shabby and pretty and vintage. So we'll be doing some gold leaf, a little demo on gold leafing most everything that you're going to be seeing in this um, flip through, you'll be getting in your kit. A little tag. Learn how to make these pretty roses. And I have this fun little pop out with a bat. And then this just has lots of goodies in here. Stacks of postcards and you can use these for your journal if you want. Not gonna undo them, but these will all be in your kit. <clears throat> so this kind of fits into here and I had every intention of making it fit <clears throat> but it was so big that I couldn't even close it it'll it'll kind of fit in there if I don't don't have my stuff in there but um it won't it won't completely close so I just decided to make it um a box on its own so this goes in there and then all the lace and everything on the edges. It's neat too because this is a magnetic closure. <clears throat> so this is the journal and this is an ephemera journal. Uh, it's more, the class is going to be about more about making fun ephemera so there's gonna there's three shakers in this i was really excited and um inspired by a, a sweet 
YouTuber, and she goes, her um, handle is Cutesy Shelf, I believe. I'll leave a link down below so you can see um, all the really beautiful, she does lots of shakers and die cuts and really fun um, journals and things in general. So here's, this is the shaker here, this part. It's the front. Little ghosts. Very, very shabby, chic, pinky, and sweet. This opens here. Everybody's going to get their own um, 12 by 12 sheet of cards. Um, <clears throat> Frank Garcia, Luna pages, they'll all be the same. And there's going to be some accessories and ephemera from his line in the kit too. Here's one of my tags that I made. It's a German card. Um, all of the dies like this are going to be pre-made for you. So you can just have a nice day of just putting things together. This opens like this. There'll be some vintage um, papers in here and tags and tickets. Here's another shaker. And this little jack-o'-lantern. trim here. Made it a little tiny bit creepy. We're going to be altering simple car uh, tags. This is from Frank Garcia's collection as well. And here, this is super fun. I was inspired by these pop and twists. So if I, this is kind of stiff, but it goes like that. <clears throat> and I put, you know, we're going to put these cute little spiders on here. And this, oop, the tip just came out. This is a tag here, a pocket. And then this is a hidden paper clip. So it's very interactive. I just, I'm kind of on this kick of making them kind of, um, I don't know, kind of fun. And he's a super cute kitty. And here's another shaker. And this one comes off. This is, uh, we'll be making a magnetic board for the this page. So Frank Garcia, um, ephemera, and paper. All the shakers will be cut out for you and um, you'll get all the fillers for all of them. And here's another little stack of fun, cute postcards that I made. And another hidden paper clip. I love this die. You'll get, everyone will get a die of um, a bobbin like this. And some cute little tags. More lace. All the lace is included in the kit as well. Look at how cute that is. Another pocket. It's all so fun. These are really fun folios to work with. This is a really cool thing. This is um, I saw on um, another creative person uh, on YouTube. I think there's several people that are doing these where there's just one sheet. You make a folio out of one sheet. So this is pretty cool. It's packed with all these little pockets. And so here's a little accordion note. Here. Here. So there's three pockets on this side. I don't know if you can see that. So they're stacked up on each other. And then same over on this side. Kind of creepy little witch boots. And 
and this comes off here. is also really fun. Oh, we'll be doing some simple coloring with uh, colored pencils and this is a rubber stamp so you'll rubber stamp the image and then I'll show you a really quick technique to um, color your color with the um, colored pencils. That's a fun little pocket and belly band. It goes like this. I'm going to bring all my rubber stamps. There's very few things that you need to bring. And here's a fun flip. Flippy floppy. So fun. I hope to see you guys there. We had fun in our last um, Halloween class at Frank's. And these classes do sell out fairly quick. So make sure you sign up so you don't miss it. The uh, kits are packed with so many things. I spent a lot of time putting the kits together, making them um, unusual and um, you don't have to bring anything like I said it's just the basics you know like scissors and glue and things like that it's for the 16th of September it's on a Saturday and it's going to be a really long class that way we can actually finish our projects there, there's a lot of detail that goes on in these and um, it's going to be from 10 to 7 30 and there'll be a, a nice break in the middle of the day for lunch and um, just let me know if you have any questions down below. And I can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for watching.